Alright, so um, in this video I want to talk a little bit about uh, my fears going into the surgery. Um, you know, a lot of people think that getting uh, weight loss surgery is a quick fix, the easy way out, um, all that stuff, but I know from doing my research and talking to many, many people that it is not the easy way out. In fact, it is very, very difficult. Um, you still have to go on a diet for the rest of your life, you still have to exercise, and um, you know there's still a possibility you could fail and gain all the weight back that you lose. Um, <clears throat> I have probably about 130, 140 pounds to lose to get to my personal goal weight. Um, I know my doctor's goal weight was a little bit higher for me than I wanted. Um, my goal was to get to uh, 174, which is where I was when I was about 21 years old in college. Um, so you know, I would love to get back to that point, um, but I have a long way to go, you know, and I'm worried that, um, I'm worried that I won't lose as much weight as I want to, number one, um, you know, I mean, 130, 140 pounds, that's a whole lot of weight to lose, um, and I'm going to give myself, like, two years, you know, or however long it takes, but, um, it's not going to happen overnight, and, um, people lose weight at different rates, and I'm not expecting to lose, you know, 100 pounds in the first five months or whatever, um, although some people do, so go you guys, um, you know, I would love to be one of those, but I'm not expecting it. Um, number two, I'm worried, um, if I do lose all that weight, I'm worried that I will have a ton of loose skin. Um, uh, my body, um, mainly carries my weight in my stomach and, um, you know, my arms and stuff, it's everywhere, but mostly my stomach is really bad. And I'm worried a lot about that because I don't want to lose a ton of weight and then, you know, Try, like feel like I look like a monster and I know a lot of people end up feeling that way I'm prepared to feel that way and that's fine um, you know I think it's better than um, than you know carrying all this extra weight on me and having back problems and having knee problems and you know I mean it's a quality of life issue when you're this morbidly obese but um, I am worried about extra skin I'm worried about what I will look like and you know I'm worried that I'll feel like I lost all this weight I did all this work and um, you know, now I I look horrible because of extra skin, because of, you know, something else. And then what about plastic surgery, and what about, you know, recovery time from that, and scars from that, and I mean, there, there's a lot to worry about with that. Um, I'm also, I'm worried that, um, you know, once I do start losing weight, I'm worried that I will feel like it's not enough, that I'll beat myself up and be really hard on myself and think, oh my god, you only lost two pounds this week, or, you know, you only lost 30 pounds in a year, or... Um, you know, I'm worried that although I don't have many expectations right now, I'm still worried that I won't give myself the credit that I, you know, hope I will deserve at that point. Um, and I hope I'm not too hard on myself. You know, I worry that I'm going to be hard on myself and I see a lot of people on YouTube, um, doing these videos and saying, oh my god, I, you know, I, I gained five pounds and I, you know, I'm at my lifetime goal and I gained five pounds and I feel horrible and all this stuff and I mean I look at them and I'm like you're crazy I would die to be that thin you know I know it's it's all relative and um, I know that it's disappointing when you wanted to be at a certain weight and you gain weight and all that but I just I hope that I don't get to that point I hope that I can give myself enough leeway and give myself um, you know the credit that I deserve and not be too hard on myself um, I tend to sabotage myself if I mess up one meal or if I mess up um, one thing um, I tend to, um, you know, end up throwing myself off for the rest of the day, um, and not, you know, I've already messed up this one, we already have messed up breakfast, so I'll start again tomorrow, and then tomorrow turns into, well, I'll start next week, and you know, you know how the cycle goes, um, but I hope that, um, I end up, you know, hi, um, I hope that I end up, um, giving myself enough credit where credit is due, um, and, sorry, someone's walking by, um, you know, and I hope that I, I don't sabotage myself, and that if I do mess up once or twice, I can get right back into it, um, and I can, you know, know that it's okay that I messed up once, I, you know, I don't have to, to mess up the rest of the day or the rest of the week because of that, um, so, you know, those are some of my worries, um, I worry that people will treat me differently because I've lost weight. Um, I worry they'll get a lot of attention that I didn't have before. Um, a lot of us are overweight because we feel like it protects us and we feel like, um, you know, that 
it's it's a barrier against us and it's kind of like I've always been like the overweight funny girl and you know when I lose that weight then who am I going to be like the skinny funny girl like that's not funny you know um so I worry that um you know that I I won't know who to be I guess um uh, I mean I've been overweight my whole life and um you know the only time I was thin I was going through a lot of anxiety issues and I wasn't eating and I was having panic attacks and I couldn't even enjoy it you know and I, I um so I just I hope that I'm able to enjoy it um and I hope that you know I hope that I do lose a significant amount of weight and that this isn't just a, a surgery for nothing and that you know I hope I don't go back to my old ways and I hope that um you know I can I can work through it and I can do this I mean if I couldn't do it before then why can I do it now what's going to give me the strength to do it now you know I mean I know that's not a good way to think but um it's a reality I have to change my whole mindset and you know it's not just a physical change it's a mental change um so I worry about that too um you know I worry also about what people will think in a way I mean I don't really care what people think about me because um, I never really have and people have just kind of accepted me because I've always accepted myself but um but yeah I do worry people think you know will think that I lost you know that I had to do the surgery and you know some people might think that it's ridiculous and whatever um they might not understand as I said previously in my last video um but you know, I just, I hope that people will be supportive, um, you know, if not, then sucks to be them, you know, sayonara, Psh, see ya, but, um, but yeah, so those are, those are my thoughts for now, um, I'm gonna kind of use this as a video journal, uh, to go back and look at, and to be able to see my progress, and to be able to kind of reflect on where I came from, um, so, that is all for now. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to get some supplies, some like pre-op supplies and all that. My, my, um, my calcium pills and my like vitamins and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to purchase some of that stuff and the liquid diet stuff. And that way I can kind of show you guys or show myself or whoever's watching this, um, you know, what I've gotten and what's helped me get through the liquid diet. I don't start for another um, almost a month, but I figure it's good to be prepared, and, um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use my crock pot for the first time tomorrow, so wish me luck, I'm not a cook, but I will have to learn how, so, um, big changes coming up, and I will keep you guys updated, and, um, feel free to subscribe and comment, I would love to, um, you know, if you have any questions, or, um, if you have any tips, like I said before, um, let me know and I would love to hear them. I would love to have an accountability partner, somebody to kind of talk to along the way and make sure I'm staying on track and I would like to do the same for them and make sure we're going to the gym and, you know, call them or text them or message them or whatever on the days that I feel like I can't do this and the days that I feel like, what did I just do or I just made a big mistake and, you know, I'm not strong enough to, to keep this up. So, um, you know, if anyone out there needs a, a friend, a weight loss friend along the way, or if you're in the same kind of boat that I am right now, pre-op or just had surgery or something, you know, let me know, message me, and um, I would love to talk to you. If you're in the Boston area, maybe we could do like meetups or something. I know people do that in other cities. So anyway, I will, um, I'll be back probably later on this week with another video. Okay, thanks. Bye.